We have all heard of the famous Annabelle doll that is believed to be cursed, mostly from the recent movies. And in this video, I decided to research and compile a list of other maybe not so well known cursed objects from around the world. Some that could even give Annabelle a run for her money. The hands resist him. A notorious painting in the UK called The Hand Resist Him is a painting that was originally sold on eBay by an anonymous seller. The description for the painting read, A Haunted Painting. The painting is supposedly a self-portrait of the artist, reliving a past memory from his childhood alongside a large female doll. The artist apparently grew up in a haunted home and the doll was said to move and had a personality. Various former owners of the painting have reported seeing the hands move around the picture or even come out of the frame. Others have reported suffering blackouts or fainting after looking at the figure in the pictures for too long. And if you look carefully, it is also believed that the doll in the picture is sometimes seen holding a gun. The Bridal Doll Lee Steer, a paranormal investigator based in England, bought this doll after hearing horrific stories of its supernatural qualities. The investigator reportedly paid £800 for the doll. He said the doll's previous owner put it up for sale on eBay after it began attacking her husband, setting off fire alarms and taking off its necklace among other things. After the investigator bought the doll, he didn't notice anything strange, but his father was watching TV one night when his arm began to hurt, and just like the previous owner's husband, his father lifted up his sleeve and he had six scratches on his arm. The investigator has also stated that orbs are very common to be seen flying around the doll. The Screaming Skull The Burton Agnes Hall in Burton Agnes, England, is home to a creepy paranormal object called the Screaming Skull. The Screaming Skull is believed to be of Catherine Anne Griffith, who died in the same house after being attacked by bullies in 1620. Almost every night, a terrifying sound like a scream can be heard around the skull, making a tremendous noise. Because of this, Many previous owners of the hall were scared to sleep overnight. The Anguished Man Painting Fascinated by the charm of the Anguished Man Painting, Sean Robinson inherited the painting from his grandmother and decided to hang the painting on the wall of his house. Soon after that, Sean and his family started experiencing paranormal events like the cracking of doors in the middle of the night and sudden blood-curdling screams from nowhere. Sean's wife decided to investigate the origin of the painting and found the artist who painted the painting committed suicide and before doing that he mixed his own blood with the paint. Learning this, the couple decided to hide the painting in the basement of their house in Cumbria, where it remains today. Aluru Rock Aluru Rock is a large sandstone formation in the southern part of Northern Territory, Australia. Also known as Ayers Rock, this place is sacred for the Aboriginal people of the area. This is the reason they request, or rather, advise the visitors not to take anything from the site. However, many tourists smuggled home small chunks of the formation and experienced bad luck, severe illness, terrible breakups and even the death of loved ones. Letter, the Gypsy Doll Letter's story can be traced to a small town of Wagga Wagga in rural New South Wales, Australia. It was here during the 1970s that a young man by the name of Kerry Walton decided to explore an abandoned house with his brother. The two men had always been inquisitive over the property 
having heard countless stories of it being a haunted house as kids. It was within this house that Kerry was to make a shocking discovery. Underneath the floors of the decaying property, he spotted something sinister, which at first glance looked to be the body of a dead child. Upon closer inspection, Kerry had discovered a strange doll with a wicked grin. Kerry felt compelled to rescue the doll from beneath the house. It was on the long drive home to Brisbane that these brothers were to dub the doll Let Me Out after making jokes that the doll appeared to be moving within the sack he was being transported inside of. Kerry's family were understandably apprehensive towards the doll when he first brought it home, yet it was the strange activity to follow that really had them unsettled. Just a chance discovery under a derelict house in country New South Wales. A 200 year old doll, the type used by fortune predicting gypsies. It frightened me, you know, put the wind right up me. And then after I'd uh, settled down a bit and realised what it was, you know, I thought, oh, geez, this is a nice find, you know. Kerry Walton sensed a lifetime of scrounging had finally paid off, yet he never imagined the extent of his future good fortune. It must be just, just the features and the nose and the, the, the long chin and the, uh, the glass eyes. It makes him look very evil, I think. What about that grin? Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes he looks like he's grinning and other times, you know, you, depending on what shadows are in the house, it looks like he's a bit unhappy, you know? Early headlines suggested a satanic influence. Local dogs went into attack mode when close to the doll. A weird reaction not restricted to canines. We have friends that come up from Sydney and they tell us we've got to put the doll over in the shed before they come up. Kerry's shed doubles as his place of business for storing his collectibles scrounged from around the state for resale. When we first brought him home, Kerry wouldn't even have him in the house. It is said that letter would move around on its own accord, with strange scuff marks apparently left on the doll's shoes were found around the house each morning. In addition, some people had an aversion to the doll's presence, feeling sick, faint or overcome by emotion when the doll was around. Animals, mainly dogs, would act strange around the doll too, trying to bite or attack it. It is said that the doll is actually inhabited by the spirit of a young boy who died a long time ago from drowning. It is also speculated that the doll may have been created in this boy's likeness. Hope Diamond A cursed object that must be kept away from the human touch is the Hope Diamond. This famous jewel is of an unusually large size with a soothing blue shade and is worth around $250 million. However, the diamond is believed to be cursed since the 17th century and brings a great misfortune and misery to its wearer. Folklore states that a French merchant plucked the gem from the eyes of a Hindu idol in 1653 and ever since then whoever owns this 115 carat blue diamond opens the door for bad luck. The Thomas Busby Chair Properly known as the Busby Stoop Chair, this wooden furniture is cursed by the spirit of Thomas Busby, who was known to ruthlessly murder people. Before getting hanged for his crimes, he requested to have a meal in his favourite local pub. Upon finishing his meal, he stood and said, May sudden death come to anyone who dares sit in my chair. And ever since then, 63 people who dared sit on the chair met untimely and terrifying deaths. Later, the owner of the pub donated the chair to a museum in the UK and it is still there, hung 1.5 metres off the ground to prevent any further deaths. The Woman from Lem Statue The Woman from Lem Statue was found in Cyprus in 1878 and is an eye-catching artefact carved from limestone. The statue is said to have been owned by four different families each of them dying within a few years of obtaining the artefact. Terrified by the deadly history of the statue, the only surviving member of the last family donated the statue to the Royal Scottish Museum in Edinburgh, Scotland. However, things didn't stop there. 
The museum curator who handled the statue was mysteriously murdered after a few days of it arriving to the museum. The Bizarro Vase Another cursed object that must not be touched is the Bizarro Vase that was made in the 15th century by an Italian maiden on her wedding night as a gift for her groom. Locals say that she was found murdered with the vase in her hand that very night. The vase was then passed down from family to family, each claiming unfortunate deaths of loved ones. In 1998, it was offered to multiple museums, but all refused to take it because of the curse. Where exactly it is now remains unclear, but some say it is buried in a lead coffin in a hidden place where no one can find it. The Iceman The mummy of Otzi, also known as the Iceman, was found in 1991 in the Otso Alps, Italy. It is believed the Iceman was from around 3000 BC and his body was preserved because of the glacier that surrounded him after he died. Soon after his discovery, the people who were involved began to die due to violent accidents. Forensic pathologist Reynar Hen died in a horrific car accident. Mountaineer Kurt Fritz died in an avalanche and hiker Helmut Simon died after falling off a dangerous hidden path. People believe that the discovery of the Iceman is a curse and has the power to destroy mankind. I hope you enjoyed this list and I intend to cover more cursed objects in another video in the near future. See you next time.